First of all, I would like to thank you for the invitation for your conference. Unfortunately, there are a lot of activities concerning the new financial perspective, especially the preparation of the uh, new resolution of the Parliament, what makes me absolutely impossible to come to your conference. So that's why this form uh, of the replacement uh, I, I can use. I must tell you that uh, today the urban mobility uh, becomes one of the uh, basic problems uh, 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 in the discussion about the uh, cohesion policy after 2013. In different contexts. First, the urban issues, the urban dimension becomes very important in the whole cohesion policy. We are speaking more and more about the uh, urban elements. We are speaking about the uh, problems and also the uh, innovation in the cities. It's not by chance that the DG Regio changed its name and now it's DG uh, Regional and Urban Policy. It's also about the, uh, uh, about the smart cities, about the uh, future of smart cities, which is directly connected to the problem of energy and transport. And this is mainly in the hands of DG Energy. In fact, this kind of problematic. But uh, when we discuss the problem of the uh, regulation, I, I'm the rapporteur for the ERDF regulation, and the, uh, one of the basic elements is the problem of urban mobility. First proposal which has been accepted by the Council was to remove it from the uh, so-called investment priority number seven, which is about transparent, to show the specificity of urban mobility. We managed to put it into the priority sphere inside the uh, thematic concentration. So in the less developed regions, it will be included in the 50% of the, of the thematic concentration. In the more developed, it will be in the, in, in the 80%. So the uh, urban mobility uh, it, it will be concentrated, first of all, the problem of energy efficiency. Energy efficiency as, uh, as the, uh, also the, uh, the, the question of the main priorities for the European Union. So that's why uh, while you discuss it now, this is not about theory. Now we discuss the uh, very concrete operational solutions which should be included in the, in the, uh, in the future, in the cities. It's about the, uh, the integrated approach about the smart cities. It's about new technologies about the, um, the environment-friendly transport. And let me tell you that it requires a very clear definition what you really mean by environment-friendly. What it really means is the, uh, the urban mobility transport which was based on the low carbon or uh, renewable energy. We should uh, avoid speaking about the uh, very general slogans. We should discuss the very concrete uh, implementation and very good examples. We in the Parliament we are fighting to, to, to have the financial instrument, but we, we need from the practitioners the very clear proposals and methods how to implement it. I mean the complementarity between the uh, politicians, legislators and the pr practitioners is absolutely required because we need the arguments why we fight for money. We are ready to do it and we are waiting for your activity.